The revolution is coming. We are moving from ICE to EV. Tesla is doing so much in the car industry. But who is going to run the bike industry? Well, the answer is dark. Whether it's about saving the earth from Thanos or killing the White Walkers, there's always a Stark. And to save the earth from ice bikes, we have a Stark. We all know about the environmental issues we face due to the ice vehicles. Well, Tesla is making a significant effort with their electric cars, but Tesla said that they would never make an electric bike. I know many companies are making electric bikes, but it's time we need something out of the box. And we do have something out of the box. The bike's name is Stark Varg, manufactured by the company Stark Future. Before we go into the bike, let's discuss a little about the company. Anton Wass and Paul Sosi created Stark Future in 2019. The company is based in Villa Deccans, Catalonia, Spain, and has Swedish roots. Seb Tertelli, a former motocross world champion, is the company's test manager. The word Stark means strong in Swedish, and it represents the company's mission. By creating and building innovative technology to help save the environment, Stark Future aims to cut emissions and pollution. The Stark Varg electric motorcycle debuted on December 14, 2021. The motorcycle boasts an 80 horsepower engine and a near silent motor, as well as a smartphone dash and a motorcycle setup app. Stark Future made 50 million euros in the first month. In less than two months after its launch, the firm sold over 5,000 bikes. Now that we've talked a little about the company and its sales, let's talk about the bike itself. As we all know, Stark means strong in Swedish, and Varg means wolf. Now, many of you might be wondering why that name. Well, they have reasoning for that too. It simply means strong wolf, and in Sweden, the wolf is considered the king of the forest. And the idea they had while making this bike was that they wanted to make an absolute beast. A bike that can stand at the top of all the other bikes. Doesn't matter, EV or ice. See a pretty interesting story behind the name. Then there was some idiot who said that name doesn't matter. It does matter. You just need to have a really cool name. Coming back to the bike, the bike is being built in Barcelona and has been in the works for almost two years. It's exciting to announce that it's finally ready to display. The development and testing of this bike were done by an all-star crew, and the result is the most stunning electric dirt bike we've seen to date. The Varg is equipped with a monstrous 80 horsepower. For the sake of comparison, a 2021 Honda CRF 450 has around 25 more horsepower. No offense, Honda, you made a good bike, but this one beats it by a mile. So, better luck next time, I guess. One more amazing thing is that you can attach a waterproof and shock-resistant smartphone to the bar pad, which will work as the bike's control unit or dash. It can be used to modify the VARG. You can choose from a variety of power options in the app, ranging from a 125cc two-stroke to a 650cc four-stroke. 100 distinct ride modes can be created by modifying the bike's power curve, engine braking, traction control, and virtual flywheel. Yes, you heard me right, it can go with 100 different modes. So basically, it has a mode for everyone. So you can have a great ride with zero trouble. How crazy it is that you can choose from 100 different modes. I mean, I'm still in shock, that's why I'm repeating it. But I think I should stop now. Now let me talk about the heart of the bike a little. I mean, the battery. The battery is a 6 kilowatt hour pack with a high energy density. For reference, the new KTM Freeride battery pack is 3.9 kilowatt hours, whereas the high-end Alta Redshift battery pack is 5.8 kilowatt hours. Even for the normal standards, the battery pack is pretty huge. 6 kilowatt hour can last like a full tank of an ice bike. But more about that later. The Varg's pack differs in that it has a magnesium honeycomb casing and what they refer to as slippery fingers. Slippery fingers remind me of little fingers from the Game of Thrones. Remember that guy who used to say knowledge is power and then almost got killed by the queen while she gave us the epic dialogue of power is power? That moment was epic, and I should stop being a fanboy now and talk about the slippery fingers instead of little fingers. The cells are configured using a one-sided power board and a pressure relief mechanism, with each cell connected directly to the shell. As a result, the battery has high conductivity and a stable temperature. For range, Stark claims that a full charge will get you about the same distance as a full tank of petrol on a current 454 stroke. For direct correlation, that equates to around a full moto on a GP track with a GP level rider of up to 6 hours of trail riding time. Depending on the charging method, the claim charge time ranges from 1 to 2 hours. Another important element of this bike is its weight. On paper, it weighed 110 kilos or 242 pounds. 
The weight is comparable to modern 450 gas bikes. But the most important factor to consider is how light the bike will feel while riding. It's because there isn't enough rotational mass. The KTM Freeride XC is lighter than a 125 two-stroke, according to riders who have been riding it for a long time, regardless of the fact that it weighs 245 pounds. Well, the science behind it is pretty simple. The ice bike feels heavy because of the engine resistance and all the rotating parts. In the case of an electric bike, there are not many things in it. It just has a motor and that motor does all the work, so it feels a lot lighter. The Varg's chassis is extremely compact and light. The lowest half of the frame is replaced with a floating dual compound skid plate made of a variety of materials, including magnesium and a carbon fiber component. The KYB suspension of the bike may be adjusted to seven different settings depending on the rider's size and weight. Pirelli Scorpion MX32 tires set on T6 rims in a revolutionary footpeg design utilizing super strong and lightweight materials are some of the other characteristics. There is also the stainless steel alloy. Now this bike will start shipping this month itself, I mean in the month of June. The price that the official site shows is $12,900. Let me remind you some bikes are already sold. I had mentioned it at the start of the video, and if you book it right now, you will get your bike by August. This shows how much this bike is in demand. It's not even out in the market, and the waiting time is already of approximately two months. Well, it looks good for the new company. If you want to book this bike, you can do it by simply paying the booking fee, which is very minimum, just $100. So if you feel like it, go and book your Stark Varg. Let's now get into a little review from Blake Warton. In his blog, he said power is, of course, the category that most people are most interested in when it comes to an electric bike. The bike is highly responsive and speedy, as one might expect given our knowledge of eclectic engines. If we're talking about things in internal combustion terms, it appears to be more focused to the bottom end to mid-range, similar to all electric dirt bikes today. With gearing and electronic mapping, however, this could most certainly be modified to suit rider preference and, of course, configuration. After riding the Varg, the 450cc engine's micro-movements become immediately apparent, and they all appear to be struggling for directional control. The Varg, on the other hand, is completely focused on forwarding motion. In terms of pure power, the 450cc bikes that formerly reigned supreme in supercross and motocross now felt like 350s battling at high altitude. With that review, you can sum up how good the bike is. This company won't stop here, and will be bringing more bikes like this, even better. It's just a start, you can say.